Isa ito sa napakagandang laban sa boxing dahil unang round pa lang, may tatlong bagsak na kung saan nakaligtas ang ating Pinoy sa isang napakahirap na laban kontra sa hapon na pensa ni Nauya Inoue. Ito ay ang undefeated na Pinoy na tubong Bacolod City sa Negros Occidental na si Genesis Cervanya na binansagang Azucal na may perfect na kartada na 21 wins walang talo na may 9 knockouts sa laban na ito. Matapos nakuha ang 21 na panalo dito sa Pilipinas itong si Cervanya kung saan inangkin nito ang WBC Silver Super Bantamweight at WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantamweight titles. Nagpasya ang kanyang kampo na idayo na ito sa labas ng bansa upang mas lalong masubok ang kanyang galing at makakuha ng world title fight. Lumipad ang kampo ni Servanya papuntang Macau, China upang sagupain itong kamag-anak ni Inoue na si Kunsuki Tomiyama na may 23 wins, 3 losses na may 9 knockouts na former world title challenger at isang OTBF champion. Ito ay ang pinakamahirap na laban ng ating Pinoy mga tol sa kanyang unang pagdayo sa labas ng bansa kung saan pariho ang dalawang fighters na bumagsak sa unang round pa lang ng laban kung saan mula sa pagbagsak malakas pa rin ang dalawang fighters na hindi mo masabi kung sino ang lamang sa laban. Para mga tol ating balikan itong laban na talagang nawaw mali ang kampo ng hapon kung saan Nauna silang nagdiwang dahil akala nila sila na ang panalo sa laban. Dala ni Sir Vanya ang record na 21 wins, walang talo na may 9 knockouts, habang si Tumiyama naman ay may 23 wins, 3 losses na may 9 knockouts. Dito ay dinipensahan ni Sir Vanya ang WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantami title na naganap sa Kutay Arena sa Macau, China. Napabagsak ni Servanya ang hapon ngunit tumayo lang ito agad at lumaban. The Pacific Super Bantamweight Champion Tomiyama, a long-rangey fighter in Tokyo, Japan and he is down. Excellent. Dramatic turn that this fight takes immediately. Taking the mandatory eight count. Just about to tell you that Tomiyama champion But as you can see, he is not devoid of power. And a very rocky start for Grania, looking great here in the opening moments. And now Tomiyama comes back into the fight. And here comes Servania, and these two are throwing the leather early. First minute. And he scores a knockdown with a left. Mula naman sa counter ni Tomiyama, bagsak si Servania, ngunit nagpakita din ito ng tibay. have tasted the canvas here they count for the champion Zervania here comes Tomiyama back good jab Onosuke tries that uppercut now here comes Zervania very aggressive as you can see he's up on his toes that's his style and a fight by Tomiyama Stops Cervania on his track. Cervania tries to answer back and her champion is dead. Mula sa kombinasyon ng hapon, bumagsak ulit si Cervania. Ngunit nalampasan pa nito ang bilang ng referee. Again, second time he is down. Mainit ang dalawang fighters dito sa round 2 mga tol kung saan gusto nang tapusin ng maaga ang laban. Definitely worth this, this fight here right here. Hitting a, a Japanese against a Filipino. They're very... A lot of movement. Jumping up and down but... You know, just about to tell you about the... Uh, the oh nine. he was stopped in 8 rounds but he had the champion in a bad way in the first round and knocked down. And this... Right! And this... Right! I will keep an eye on that. As he comes forward. I started to mention to you is. Tomiyama, long-rangey fighter, goes. 
tuloy pa rin ang matinding aksyon dito sa round 3 mga tol na parihong agresibo ang dalawang fighters. Mula sa sulid na kanan ni Servanya, bagsak ang hapon. Ngunit tumayo pa ito at nakipagpalitan ng suntok. Sa ikaapat na round mga tol gusto nang bumawi ng hapon. He was successful in the first round of that formula here again, but Servania is undeterred. Left hook, really. Reach on it. And down on their punches. Set down on their punches. Proper leverage in their punches. And go along and develop. And now Tomiyama mounting his own comeback and get sensing that as well, urging him. Tomiyama does have the good jab, but he. This combination. That's a good one too that Tomiyama has. Forward, he pushes Servani up against the ropes, and here comes Genesis back. There's a wide variety of and dropped for four. Ten seconds. Stop the bell. Oh, beautiful left hook by Servani. Tumama pa ang mga sulido suntok ni Kabayan bago tumunog ang bell. Sa round 6 mga tol, mainit pa rin ang palitan ng mga malalakas na suntok kung saan nagpakita din ang tibay ang dalawang boxers. Tomiyama has been mostly a headhunter. Right. Maybe that's when he, when he thought that he's thrown in this round was to the body. A one-armed fighter against the Cervania is going to be in some real trouble. Now Tomiyama comes over the top and I see a smear of blood on the Tomiyama's face. Midway through the round with a hard right. Tomiyama in some trouble. Staggers back a second. Started to glances over at his corner. Right back to the jab goes Tomiyama. Right by Tomiyama, at least showing it. Dito sa ikapitong round mga tol, mga suli din ang naipatama ng hapon. Ngunit kaya lang ito ni Kabayan. But he's shown a, a power. He's not devoid of power despite that low knockout ratio. Tomiyama's not having a bad round here. He's actually having a pretty good round. 
guy's a jab. Tommy Yama showing he can still summon up some strength and energy, but there's that good left hook. I love the left hook that Cervania throws. He can really dig it to the body too. Body or him. Nice jab work though by Tommy Yama. Comes up with an upper. Sa ikawalong round mga tol, malakas pa rin ang dalawang fighters na gustong makakuha ng impresibong panalo. We have a Japanese against the Philippine fighter here. We'll have a Thai fighter again, utilizing the jab. So he's fought good competition himself. We mentioned Tomiyama had fought uh, for a world title, but uh, Servania, his last fight against uh, fighters recently, really picking up his level of competition. And this is another tough opponent here for him. Four rounds. Nice fighter against the, utilizing the jab rhythm going nice combination and a farbanya and the shoulder of Tommy and as the bell sounds dito sa round 9 mga tol umatake na itong hapon ngunit tinamaan din siya ng Pinoy six minutes remaining I believe Servanya is ahead of and it may still not they fail to be still time to the head, then to the body, and shoves an elbow into the face. And he wants to get right at his foe, and he's coming right, right at Cervania. And as you can see, Tomiyama's encouraged box, box. Time, time. by the success he's time. had. Go there, go there. Inigil ang referee ang laban dahil malakas na ang kulo ng dugo mula sa kaliwang mata ni Cervania. Ayon sa referee, ito ay nagmula sa aksidental na untugan ng ulo. At nang tingnan ng doktor, nagpasya na ito na hindi na pwiling ituloy ang laban. Mula dito, nagdiwang na ang kampo ng mga hapon na akala nila ay panalo na sila sa laban. Kaya grabe ang sigaw ni Tumiyama na akala nito. Technical knockout na panalo na ang kanyang nakuha sa laban. Ngunit dahil sa accidental headbutt, scorecards ang pinagbasihan mula sa mga hurado kung sino ang panalo sa laban. An accidental clash of heads. Referee Tapta San stops the bout with an official time of 1 minute 42 seconds of the ninth round. And in accordance with the rules of the WBO, we go to the scorecards to determine a winner. Judge Shimiyama scores the bout 87 to 82 in favor of Servania. Judge Tawi Doon scores about 85 to 84 in favor of Tommy Yama. And Judge Lagumbay scores it 86 to 83 in favor of the winner by way of technical split decision. And still, WBO Asia Pacific champion. Biglang nalungkot ang kampo ng Hapon ng sinabi ng ring announcer na si Servania ang panalo sa pamamagitan ng technical split decision. Tungkol naman sa inyong score sa laban mga tol, pag-usapan na lang natin yan sa baba. Basahin ko yan isa't isa at salamat sa suporta hanggang sa sunod nating uploads. Lagi nyo sundan, huwag magpapahuli Pag-usapan ni Bakbakan, balita niya at laban Mga Pinoy na di nagpapagapi Salamat sa mga suporta na lagi nandyan